Good Monday morning, everybody. I'm Dwayne Nelson, WTFM Video News. The cause of a house fire in Washington County, Tennessee over the weekend that claimed the life of a county man remains under investigation. That place started Saturday morning at a home on Delmer Salts Road in Grave. Once the fire was extinguished, the body of 43-year-old Adam Ross Good was located. We asked Sheriff Sergeant Sam Phillips if they know how that fire started. It's currently still under investigation right now. But you don't believe arson? Absolutely not. Good's body has been sent for an autopsy. K-9 detected no accelerants, and the cause of the fire remains under investigation by the state fire marshal's office. Ribbon-cutting ceremony will be held this morning for a new hospital in Abingdon, Virginia. Several patients were moved over to the new Johnston Memorial Hospital over the weekend. That new facility, which is located off Interstate 81, officially opened Saturday morning. The old hospital has served the local community for 106 years. The new $135 million facility was built after joining Mountain States Health Alliance. Ribbon cutting will be held at 10 o'clock this morning. The National Fish Hatchery in Irwin could possibly be spared for at least another year. That facility, along with eight other mitigation hatcheries across the country, are facing closure in the upcoming federal fiscal year due to funding cuts. A pending bill awaiting consideration by the U.S. House of Representatives would, if passed, allow the hatcheries to continue operations for at least another year. Green County man accused of attempting to rob an employee at a fast food restaurant is due in court today. 31-year-old Chad Edward Vest charged with attempted aggravated robbery, burglary, and vandalism under $500. Vest allegedly entered Crystal's restaurant through a rear door, displayed a knife, and demanded money, but fled after seeing another employee call 911. A short time later, Vest allegedly threw a brick through a window at Central Drug Store and allegedly broke into Quick Stop Market on Bernard Avenue. Police claim his wife, 36-year-old Michelle Vest, drove him around during the time. She's charged with being an accessory. Both will be in court this morning. Well, for the first time in its over 40-year history, a popular Kingsport attraction has set an attendance record. Bays Mountain Park attracted over 200,000 visitors last year. Park manager Ken Childers thinks things could be better this year. He attributes the record-setting numbers to park improvements, such as the planetarium renovation and the addition of an outdoor adventure area. An anti-crime group is offering a reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons responsible for killing an elderly Bristol, Virginia woman. 86-year-old Annie Smith was found dead in her apartment last weekend. A coroner's report indicates her death was due to asphyxiation. Crime Solvers Incorporated offering a $1,000 reward. And it may cost you more to use Tri-Cities Regional Airport in the future. Each time you step on a commercial flight at Tri, you pay a $4.50 passenger facility charge, which was approved by the federal government, collected by the airlines, and then forwarded to the airport. Airport advocate group Airport Council International believes the PFC limit should be increased by $2.50 due to inflation. I'm Dwayne Nelson. Have a great Monday.